praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you for being here today at Measure Faith Worship Center. This video I've, I've put together for, for, for with the Word. God bless all that's here today. Uh, if you're watching this video and, uh, and come across it on Facebook, you'll find it on Facebook. You can find it on YouTube. I put it in, I have a, a, a a playlist on, on on YouTube and I have a, 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 a group page on, on Facebook and I point this because this is this is what it is measure faith churches because it's not just this church we also represented with ba pastor and, and, and Bishop Babu Megapu over in India and if you don't follow my, this uh, this this uh, ministry you can hit a like on everything that I guess you can make us uh, do a uh, 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 subscribe to my YouTube page, my channel. I appreciate it, you know, so you can get these weekly messages. And I'm gonna try to make this quick <laughs> and stuff. And but God bless. I hope everybody had a great uh, uh, Easter. I hope it, you know, you, you you meditated on the Lord and not just on eggs. <laughs> And Easter bunnies. <laughs> we talked about that last week. We talked about the resurrection everlasting. And you can get that message as well. Like I say on Facebook. Or, or on YouTube. And, 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 and many more. And you you might be in a place in your life today. You really need these messages. Or you know someone else. That might really need these messages. And I would hope that you would give it to them. Share it with them. That's what we're about here today and with Measure Faith Worship Center is to share. Just like this pastor, he shared all, all uh, in India. We're about to dedicate another church. We've got about 10 and 12 churches and we're going to dedicate another church, Pastor Solomon Raju. And I might say, it's hard to say some of their names, but it, you know they have trouble with ours. But he's, he knows, he's, he's bilingual and he knows how to, how to converse and talk to these other pastors and, 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 and communicate and we should be able to communicate spiritually by, by and, and, and through our prayers as well as, as, as lifting each other up and like I said be in prayer for this ministry is, 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 is him and his wife and he's at his father's church this week and stuff and he's preaching there and he goes all over the, all over India preaching the gospel, and that's what it's about. You might hear this little music. I got kind of up from last week because it was I had, uh, some noisy neighbors doing noisy things. But today, I'm like I said, I'm gonna get in this word. Like you say, get you a Bible at, at ChristianBook.com. You can go there and get a Bible. You can go to Walmart, any of the retailers. I plug them because they 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 have them. <laughs> you know, you can. There's no excuse that you can't have a Bible because everybody has a phone. So if you got a phone, you can have a you can have a Bible app at, at BibleGateway.com. You can get a Bible app and put that on your phone and and and, and have that and share it. You know, share the gospel with as many as you can because these times are getting short. You know, there's so much corruption and 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 and. and and uh, uh, confusion and strife and it and stuff in this world. Just and, and you know the only remedy for it is to have the righteousness of Christ living in us, and that's what we're about having that righteousness living in us. And through that resurrection, we talked about that power, of that resurrection last week. How how you know why we you know we we have to know that there's only one God and one true God, you know, and we can't serve these other worldly gods. These, there's so many worldly gods. People create a new one every week, you know. And so we have to know and, and know that God wants us to serve Him and, and and no other God. And He made that clear in His Word, even from the beginning in Genesis. He He made that clear that we should through His commandments, as well as as not not to serve any other gods before Him. He's a jealous God, and that's why we we serve Him wholeheartedly and we come to him because and so today's message and god bless the fivefold ministry i don't mean to ever leave anyone out but it i don't to uh, assume the time you know that's where you can go on and on and on about who who helped you who 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 blessed you but 
you know, God bless everyone uh, that has that sit and is praying for us and that prays the blessings on this ministry as well as this we can pray for this ministry uh, in the, uh, the coming weeks and months and this this year because we want to. Uh, establish more and more churches for Measure of Faith Worship Center for the for the for the uh, for the, the working of the kingdom. And it's not for our own benefit, but but for the benefit of the people to have the opportunity to know Christ as you can know Him today as well. And we'll make it, uh, that opportunity available to you at the end of this message. But now we're going to get into Word today and, and, and get this Word out and stuff. And like I said, God bless the fivefold ministry, the pastors, the teachers, the apostles, the evangelists, even those that are workers in the, in the, in the church, you know, and those that are workers in the streets, you know, there's street ministries, the missionaries, those in foreign countries doing the great works uh, of the missions and stuff. Bless them and bless them financially, bless them. Uh, uh, spiritually, but strengthen them through the power of the Lord and the, and the Holy Spirit be with them as we give you, Him all the glory. We give God all the glory for all things in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And uh, we're going to talk today about choose today and serve. You know, who are you choosing to serve today? Who are you choosing to serve today? You say, well, I'm not really choosing anyone. You're choosing if you're not making a decision for Christ or have made a decision because you've made your choice. And when one day when you stand before God, He'll, he'll bring an account of that, of that choice that, you, that you've made in your life's journey. He'll, make a, he'll, 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 he'll bring a, uh, that to your, to your memory because He keeps good books. It talks about the book of life and that, that one day the book of life will be opened up. And, and, and it, you have to have your name in the Lamb's book of life or else you shall perish. And he said he wished none should perish. And that's why he sent the messengers. And I'm here to be as, as a messenger for this word today. And uh, we want you to be come up and be discipled and, 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 and go out and, and be a witness to, and be a, a, to that word as well. So choose today and serve. You know, I went in the military. You know, I didn't go in it. I wasn't coerced to go in it. Nobody made me go in it. You know, some governments are making. I heard this uh, uh, Putin is, 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 is going to actually make people go in there to, to serve. You know, and stuff. But, but I had the choice to serve. When I come out of high school, I, 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 I was... Uh, uh, inspired by by others, I knew that was in the military. I had military people in all of my family, all, you know, mostly army, but I choose the navy. I wanted to uh, go go across to other countries and and see other see other things and see the see the, the different uh, parts of the world and stuff where uh, some people don't have that opportunity. But like I said, I made choices to do that. And once I got into service, I made more choices. We all are, are subject to choices. And, 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 and we have to choose. The, sometimes we choose the right choices and sometimes it, it, we fail in those choices. But God is there with us and it can help us in our choice and, 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 and help us to, to uh, be elevated and lifted up and as we lift Him up. So choose today and serve. That's what the message here in my heart and spirit, and I hope you have an ear to hear what this the Spirit is saying here today. Choose today and serve. Choose today and serve. We're going to start out by going over into Joshua, the book of Joshua. It's over in the, in the, in the Old Testament after Genesis, after uh, Deuteronomy. There's Joshua, and we're going over to the, the book of Joshua, and uh, you know, and we're going over to Joshua, and we're going over to the 24th chapter of Joshua. We're going over to the 24th chapter of Joshua. It's the last. It's the last book uh, chapter of, of Joshua before you get the judges and Joshua most everyone knows about Joshua and stuff and Joshua and Caleb was, was, was 
went over and spied out and seen it, it, but they come back with a good report where the other spies come back and they said that well, there's giants and they was fearful, but then Joshua said, you know, no, we, we need to go over and, and, and claim what God has for us and what God, and know that God will be there with us, protect us, and, and, and he, he, he'll, he'll give us the good things he's promised us. And that's what God says today, choose today and serve, you know, you know. And so we're going to go over and we're going to start by, uh, on chap in chapter uh, 24 of Joshua, and we're going to start reading at, at chapter, at uh, verse 14. Verse 14 says, Now therefore fear the Lord, and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood, and in, in Egypt, and, and serve ye the Lord. Because, you know, they had been in bondage, and they come out, come through, come out of bondage, you know, hundreds of years of, of being beat down, and, 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 and by the pharaohs and by by every by the by, by the kings and, and of the kingdom and stuff of, 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 the, of these worldly kingdoms, and now they're 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 free people free people, but yet they started serving other gods because they could fall back on the things that they learned from the from these from their bondage, but they didn't learn the the, the real lesson the real lesson to turn to the one that released you from that bondage. And if your life is you're living a life of sin today, you need to have that release from that bondage. You need to have that release from those sins, those iniquities, those things that are unpleasing to God. And choose today and serve. It's about choosing today and serve. And forsake not the Lord. And forsake not the Lord, or turn from God, or turn, but turn to God. And, and, and this maybe today is the first time you know a God, because you come up in a home that, that didn't serve God, or didn't ta teach God, or and God wasn't allowed in some homes. God is not allowed. Some people say, I don't, I don't believe that. Some people do not allow that word. They're, they're, the the, the princes and powers of this world will sometimes will not allow that in that household not unless someone stands firm and chooses to serve God. Somebody that's going to stand and choose to serve God. And so we're going to go over, like I said, to Joshua 24. And we're going to go start reading it. Uh, uh, as we said in verse 14, Now therefore fear the Lord and serve Him in sincerity and in truth. Mostly truth. The whole Bible is about truth. The only truth you, the true definition of truth is, is God's Word. The true definition comes from God's Word being true. Most everything else you'll find has some kind of falsehood to it. You can't believe anything you see on these things. You can't hardly believe anything you hear on these things. Or see now you can see back years ago. It was, hello. <laughs> you didn't have pictures. You know, now you got all this here technology. But it's about choose today and serve. Choose today and serve. It's not as, you know, because you know, there's a judgment for those one day that, that, that had the choice but didn't serve or turn from and, and, and choose the, the gods of this world. Don't choose the gods of this world. And that's what he was telling them here. Don't choose the gods of this world, but choose the God that set us free. The God that brought us out of bondage. The God that delivered us from, the, from, the, from Pharaoh's army. Verse 15 says, And if it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. It's a demand. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And verse 16 says, And the people answered and said, God forbid that we for, should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. They made a choice. You can make that choice today as well. 
And I hope this is opening up your heart. Open up your heart today. God knows your heart. The Holy Spirit has been sent here to convict us of our sins and to help us and to, to know God with, with, by the forgiving us the, the truth of understanding through this Bible and through His Word. We can find that truth and be set free and be not bound to the world of this world or the gods of this world. But choose today and serve. We can choose today and serve. And now we're going to go over real quick here. And like I said, for, like it says right there, forsake not God. Forsake not God. You know, you can turn your back on a friend. You can maybe turn your back on your family. But you should not turn your back on God. He is our help. He's our, our he's our our hope. He's our he he's he's everything. Once you know and have that personal relationship with God, you'll know these things. So choose today and serve. We're going over now real uh, to the New Testament. We're gonna go past. We're gonna go over to the that was the. Joshua out of the Old Testament. Now we're going to the, to the New Testament. The first book of the New Testament, which is Matthew. We're going to go over to Matthew. We're going over to Matthew. The sixth chapter of Matthew. The sixth chapter of Matthew. And we're going to go over to Matthew 19. And, you know, it says, Lay not up your treasures there." Uh, upon earth where the moth, the rust, the dog doeth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up your, yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is will your heart be also the light of the body is is the eye and it and therefore thine eye be single thy whole body shall be full of light and he is light and he is the god of light and we 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 serve the god of light where there's no the turning of darkness in heaven but the light of christ is in us through the holy spirit but if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If, that, if therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that, dark, is that darkness? You know, and serving the things of this world will only add more darkness into our life. Alcohol, tobacco, substances, that, possessions, those things there, those things will not make you happy. But choose today to serve the Lord, the things that will bring the joy and peace and the, and the fruits of the Spirit to your life. And that's what it's about, bringing those great fruits. And so those fruits can produce more fruits by, by you sharing it with others. And that's what it's about today. And, we, we, and it says, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one, and love the other, or else he will uh, hold to the one and despise the others. You cannot serve God and mammon, or some, some translations say money, because this is, you know, uh, the, uh, you know, that you can uh, paraphrase that and put in possessions, like I said a minute ago, possessions. Is, 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 is just, is some people, their, their possessions is, is their God, their car, their home, you know, their lifestyle. You know, those are the, those, that, that, that's, that's the mammon God, a, 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 a mini God that they serve. You know, some it could be a, a, a football team, a baseball team, a sports, a sports a team of some kind, or, uh, any little thing that sets us away from God. It takes our time up, consumes us. You know, we should be consumed with the, with loving God, sharing God, sharing the kingdom, sharing the God that God said He foreordained us to, to do these things. He's called us to do these things. He made us in, in His to, to to 
be able to do those things. You know, we fail God in the, in the, in the, in the uh, garden. You know, we fail God. Man fail God. But then God is now his gate. Through the, we talked about last week about the, through the resurrection power. Now we have the availability, and it's now with technology, it's even greater that we have have that opportunity each and every day to share God and share God openly. You know, we don't have to hide our God. We don't have to hide from from God. You know, we can choose today and serve. We can choose today because and know that our treasures. Or would be in heaven when we stand with God in heaven. He said he'd go away, but he, but he'd come again and, 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 and receive us unto him. And where he is, we shall be also. Because in his house is many mansions. So he's gone to prepare these things for us. And he wants to come back and get those that are serving him. Those that are watching, those that are serving. Those He says the least in the kingdom was a servant. And so we need to be the greatest servant that we can while we're here on this earth, you know. And that's, you know, I, I was picking, uh, me and my wife talking about people being, you know, their moral standards have dropped, you know. They, 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 they're not taking care of this world. You know, the, the government says we, we have to have uh, uh, more green, you know. They want to do away with, with fossil fuels and the, all this other stuff, but yet... You know, there's a there's a part of the people that that that, that, that they they destroy in this world. You know, that we got jets flying over, spreading fuel on our on crops, and and on our, our on our cars and homes and in our in our lungs. You know, we got we got all kinds of different things that that's out here. You know, it's just like this virus, coronavirus was something that was released on man. It was a it's a test. You know, there was a test to see, and 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 now who knows when the next test will be. Just like they tested the nuclear bomb back in the in in, in the fifties, you know, and stuff, and and and, and, uh, and uh, the thirties or forties. Uh, and, and but who's to know that they might not run another test and then be the last test? So choose today and serve, you know. Sometimes those dates might not be right. You can look them up and you can send me the dates. You know, but like I said, know that our treasures are in heaven. You know, because all heaven and earth shall pass away. But you know, He's coming again with a new heaven and a new earth to receive us unto Him. And you can read that in, in Thessalonians and in, 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 in Revelation and stuff. And, and now we're gonna go over. Like I said, that was Matthew 6, 19 through 24. Now we're going to go over to Mark. That's Matthew, Mark, the next book. The next book is Mark. We're going to go over to Mark, the first chapter of Mark. And it says in verse 15, The time is fulfilled, because this was Jesus after... Uh, verse 14, if you back up there, it says, Now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. He wasn't walking around saying, Hey, you know, I'm a God. I'm, I'm, I'm powerful, you know, but I'm going to let y'all kill me. He didn't go around doing all that. He didn't have a sad story. You know, he went around preaching the gospel and saying, Verse 15, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. And it could be, these things should ring true with you today. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Repent, as he talked, as John talked, for the, for the, before the, the, the people should repent. Now he says, repent and believe the gospel. For he was the gospel standing in their midst. He was the, the, the one that would, would be the, the atonement for their sin. It says, repent and believe the gospel. Choose today and serve. We need to choose today and serve. And stuff. And now we're going to go over real quick to James. We're going over. You know, that's on the back, closer after the book of, uh, the, these are was letters to the churches and stuff. And, and here's the, uh, and then it was Hebrews. 
and then the book of James. And we're going over to James, the fourth chapter of the book of James, and we're going to close out with this this word, this scripture here, and give a give an invitation so that you can choose today whom you will serve. And we're going to go over to James, the fourth chapter, and we're going to be starting at verse thirteen. And 4 and 13 says, Go to now, ye that say to today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city, and continue there a year, and buy, sell, and gain, and get gain. In other words, they had their own, their own directions. They were planning and plotting, and, and, uh, but they were in their own righteousness, and in, on, in, in their own purposes and in, in their own gain. And verse 14 said, Wherefore, whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little while, a little time, and then vanisheth away. And then vanisheth away. That's how short life is. He's telling us right here how short life can be. How short life could be for you today. Or you may have someone just passed. And you say, oh man, they died so young. But only God, you know, that's because of the choices they made. You know, you know, it might have been their health. It might have been a, a car accident. You know, the, they was at the wrong time, the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, I know I've had things that happen in, in, with my family members as well. You know, just all of a sudden, just something that happened that took those lives. And so we have to be prepared and be be serving, be be glorifying God at, at, at every opportunity and choosing to serve Him. And verse fifteen said, "For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live, and do this or that." In other words, acknowledging the power of our life is in is in the hands of God. God, God, will, God has has chosen the path that we should go, but not a lot will go that path. It says, you know, some will go astray, some will go this way, some will go that way. But the straight way is the way. The straight way today is the way. We have to choose today and serve Him and go that right path. Go and make those right decisions. Make those right choices in our life. And that's what, I, what we're trying to say here. And so, verse 16, And now ye rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. Because they didn't, they wasn't planning things by, by, by godly wisdom. They was planning in the earthly and fleshly and uh, uh, wisdom, which it says is, a, is, 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 is enmity with God and stuff. So we have to choose today and serve God and serve Him wholeheartedly. Everything that we we do and everything that is ours belongs to God, and we have to have to acknowledge that and know that that without Him, you know, we, you know, there's no hope. Without Him, you know. We can't. We can't keep on. But we we have to. We have to choose today whom we serve. And therefore, verse seventeen says, "Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin." Someone wants to know the definition of sin. You tell them right here. Here's the definition of sin. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not. To him it is sin. There's your definition for sin. Do good and not sin. Do good and not sin. And so like I said, this was just a short word here today. God bless you. I hope this word helped you. I hope it helps you to, to, to know him, to want to serve him, to want to be a part of his kingdom work that's going on like we do, men as pastors. Uh, united together, you might have a, 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 a someone or a ministry that you want to do as well. And you got to get out there 
and, 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 and seek it, but when you seek it, you shall find it. It says knock at, at, at the door. He's knocking at the door, and if any man will receive him, he will come in and sup with him or be part with him. But what this is what we must do to be saved. I just I just go ahead as a guideline, but there, there's no real guideline. You can just open your heart to God. That's what it's about. Opening your heart, and soul, and mind to God today. Have the spiritual ears on to hear what the Spirit is saying, and allow it to, to work in your life, transform your life, make you a new creature in Him today. We have to admit that we're sinners, and that only the Lord Jesus Christ can save us. Romans 3 and 23. Repent and be willing to turn away from sin and submit to God, Luke 13 and 5. Believe that the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross and shed his blood to pay the price for our sins and rose again. We just preached the Resurrection Sunday last week about being resurrection everlasting. You know, we don't have to wait every year, April to, to recognize his, his, the power of that resurrection. That resurrection power is here today. It's hit there where you are and can touch your your life today. Repent and be willing to turn away from sin and 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 submit to God because he said, Do good and sin not. Luke 13 and 5. Believe that the Lord Jesus Christ, like I said, died for the sins of this world. And it was that slain lamb uh, and, and was crucified on the cross and was put in a grave. And then on the third day, was resurrected and now it stands at, at, at the right hand of the Father and making intercessions for us. And we have to pray that right now. Right now, Lord God, we confess, Lord God, of our sins. Lord, we come short of your glory. All have come short, Lord God. But right now, Lord God, fill us, Lord God. Take away all the sin, Lord God. Allow us to do good and sin not. And choose to serve you this day, Lord God. We choose to serve you. Come in and sit with us, Lord God. Be a part of us. Open up your word to us by your Holy Spirit. Fill us, Lord God, to overfilling. Bless us, Lord God. Baptize us with your, your, your water and your fire, Lord God, as we give you glory. We give you honor and praise this day as we receive you right now. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask all things. And the church please and say, Amen. And like I say, find a good church, find a place to be baptized when you get the opportunity, and, 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 and share it as much as you can. Share all that you can, why you can. That's what it's about, sharing why you can before the door, doors are closed. One day the Spirit of God won't be here, and there'll be a time where they'll, people will be crying out for God, and they'll, they'll be pleading to serve, but won't be able to. So choose today and serve God. But God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful new week. I hope you be able to uh, share these videos or, or lead someone to Christ through this message as, as well. And that's what it's about. And, then, and, 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 uh, and one day I'll stand in heaven and God says, my faithful uh, servant, enter in and, and then he'll tell me of these things when he opens the book and see our works and, and not the works of this that we uh, of, of, that we served while we was yet sinners but he come and, 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 and made the atonement for our sin and now we can stand before him wholeheartedly and serve him choose today to serve him God bless you and God bless your week in Jesus name we pray amen